Let's cast some resin and make a ring. Adding some red dye. And making a mess. Let's try that again. The second attempt at putting all the powders and dyes in went much better. Uh, mixed the alumilite well and then poured into the molds. I uh, make a bit of a mess here with the white alumilite, uh, but that's just because I wanted to make sure the white got poured down into the center. I put too much red and blue in that blank on the left, which will be a pin blank later on. And I took what left over resin and put it in my pin blank mold on the bottom. Here's the resin after taken out of the molds. The one on the left will be the one we use to make the ring out of. Here I've mounted that blank in the chuck and now I'm going to drill out the center hole for the ring. And once I drill in I use my fancy depth gauge here to make sure the hole is deep enough for the ring. Once that's done, start turning the ring to shape. I'm going to put just a slight crown on the ring and then of course round over the edges. Once I get it turned, I will sand and then hit it with the plastic polish, but I'll spare you the finishing. The next step is to part the ring off so we can turn the other side. And once it's parted off, you can see here what little bit needs to be turned on the other side to finish rounding it off and smoothing it out. Here I have mounted the ring on a jam chuck. It's just friction fit onto a piece of soft wood and I'm taking very very light cuts uh, just rounding off the very edge where it was parted off. Again very very light cuts here. And once it's all turned to shape, again sand and hit it with some plastic polish that I finish all of my Lumilite with. And here's the finished results. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And thank you to Jimmy for hosting this Valentine's Day challenge. Good luck to everyone who entered.